Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And before I start, let me greet everyone a Happy New Year, a Happy 2018. I hope that everyone has a great celebration with their family, their loved ones. So this is going to be my first uh, eating video or, muk or mukbang video for 2018. So I just want to let you know guys that these are leftover from New Year. Yes. It is a leftover from the new year. What in front of me is a Filipino version of a fruit salad with a twist and that is it has a coconut meat in it or buko. So we call this buko salad. So what is buko salad? It's basically just a fruit salad with cream and milk but with coconut meat in it. But if you don't like canned fruits, you can actually use fresh fruits but you know that's gonna cost you more money but it's fresh you know you can put any fruits that you want in here actually and then I use uh, two cans of small um, Nestle uh, heavy cream or whipped cream and then I use a can of uh, condensed milk and then I just mix everything together and oh uh, there's actually a kaong and a nata de coco in it so let me tell you guys what is nata de coco. Nata de coco is a chewy, translucent, jelly-like food produced by the fermentation of coconut water which gels through the production of microbial cellulose by acetobacter selenium originating in the Philippines. And then it has also a kaong. So what is kaong? Kaong is the fruit of the sugar palm tree translucently white in color and chewing texture the cute sized fruits are a popular ingredient in hal hal which you can also use in your buko salad so how this one tastes it don't really have that uh, strong like a like a coconut taste to it uh, and and by the way they don't have a fresh coconut meat here in the US so I got them in the Asian store frozen I got five bags of it and yeah wonder what what is this green thing right here this one is big but why is it green it's green because i use pandan flavor flavoring and and it has color it, it has green color in it so when i mix it with the rice it turns out green and i don't have that uh coconut jam that they usually put on top so this looks pr pretty simple and this is basically made of uh, glutinous rice or a sticky rice and then you add coconut and um, sugar in it and you know if you have the pandan leaves the fresh pandan leaves that's much better but since I don't have that so I used the uh, pandan flavoring and yeah that's I should have get clear ones but I couldn't find one so so this one is just sweet it has a coconut milk taste in it and a pandan taste in it so yeah this is a huge bowl of buko salad and I bet this is like thousands of calories and I actually just took it out in the freezer this morning so this been sitting in the kitchen for like four hours and it's still like a little still frozen really so now it has a texture of like an ice cream Look at that, if I lift, lift it up, if I lift this up, it's like it's solid, yeah. So that's still frozen and icy. Bing. Usually what's in the uh, fruit cocktail can are papaya, it has pineapple in it, cherry, uh, what else, grapes. And I think it also has a kaong in it and a little um, nata de coco I'm not really sure but yeah and peach I think it has peach in it so let's taste this itadakimasu I always want a big bite so this is really cold really nice dessert mm. Wow. 
So one tip, if you have a sensitive teeth, don't do a big spoon of it. Because it's going to hurt your teeth. I actually had a big bowl of this last night. And these are st still a lot. I wish I had someone to share it with, but yeah. But this is very creamy and sweet. It's not very sweet because I just used one can of our condensed milk. And I don't really like a too sweet dessert, so it has exact sweetness in it and very creamy. And look, you can see like these are the coconut meat. Mm. So it has too many texture in it. Uh, the coconut is kind of like uh, crunchy, and then the pineapple are crunchy, and then there's a soft texture of the uh, papaya and and nata de coco the calm is kind of chewy so that's a different texture that one is calm and it's kind of chewy it's, it's very chewy and hard to bite the nata de coco come on it's really like soft it's like it's like gelatin but with a coconut taste in it So these two are one of the most favorite and popular dessert in the Philippines because first they are easy to make and they are local in the Philippines so you always have these you know on special occasion and even if not sp special occasion you can you can make this because these are uh, cheap to make and you can get the recipe at least in the Philippines uh, quite easy they're not rare to find so Whew. two days old Biko mm. so this one is not also sweet and I intend on doing that I don't want it really sweet and the texture is kind of gritty and chewy and sticky, which made of sticky rice. And this is actually good. This is a, and and this is actually good with coffee. Yeah. It's gonna be much better if, if, if it has a coconut jam on top, because that's add a little a little sweetness in every bite. But I don't have it, and I didn't use the fresh coconut. And that's one tip if you want it to turn out like really nice and like good tasting use the fresh coconut but since we don't have co fresh coconut here in the US I use the canned one and I don't think it really make or turn out really good as I'm expecting but yeah I mean it's okay it's not the best big I done but and also, it's green, so it looks really odd. Yeah, it is good with coffee. Very simple dish, very easy to do. And we just need three ingredients to make it sticky rice, coconut milk, and sugar. If you want to add the pandan. Uh, flavor just get up and down leaves or flavoring and then yeah use the coconut jam uh, as a topping so it adds sweetness but I'm kind of happy no. mm. this is a lot
So today is January 2nd, second day of uh, 2018 and we have a nice weather. It's not as cold today compared to yesterday and it's sunny so yeah. And I'm eating cold frozen dessert. Perfect. If you guys haven't tried um, buko salad before, go ahead and try. You're gonna like this. Really nice. They actually sell um, nata de coco and and kaong. Uh, in different colors they have one in red in green and in yellow i believe and those comes in like a small jar with with a uh, sugar syrup in it just pick up the ones that has no food coloring in it that's my choice i haven't had lunch yet and it's 2.30 in the afternoon so this is not the best option for lunch but hmm. but I just feel like making a video <laughs> so that's why I have it for lunch and I usually skip lunch when I'm home so Mm. We have someone to share this with. Mm. So I'm chewing now the kaong and it's really chewy. The outer part is soft but then the inside is really like tough and chewy. So yeah, I'm not gonna finish all of this guys. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I, I just can't. I just want to show you and let you know that buko salad exists. And it is a Filipino dessert that we all Filipino love and like. And one of my favorite. My favorite and my favorite. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you, and if you did, please like this video, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet and yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye, -bye.